안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. And uh, the reason why I have only one eyebrow right now is because I was filming a tutorial on how I usually fill in my brows when they are dyed like this. My brow roots are coming in and I did want to change the color because they are a kind of uh, faded orange right now, but I want to um, make them more closer to red to suit my red hair. If you're interested in watching the um, eyebrow video right after this one, I'll leave a link right here for you to click through. So first I'll just go ahead with my micellar water and clean off my brow. So we get a nice clean slate to... I dropped the camera, but it's okay. I'm okay. Now I'm gonna take my brown semi-permanent hair dye. I got this for two thirty-nine, two three dollars for a semi-permanent dye. It was on clearance. This one's from Ion, and it's in mocha brown. Last time when I did dye my eyebrows orange, which you can see right here. I felt like they came out a little bit too vibrant for what I was going for so I'm going to actually mix in my Overtone Extreme Red Deep Treatment which is the colored hair mask that I use to turn my hair red and I'm just going to mix a little bit of this into the base of the brown dye and hopefully it'll come out okay. I'm literally just using a little bit so I'm just going to use my hand and oh my gosh that's really dark. Squeeze out hmm, maybe this much for both my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the back of my flosser because I'm too lazy to go to the kitchen to get a toothpick to mix my my red in. Let's see, maybe I'm scared. What if it's too much red? It's about a quarter of the amount the brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. Ooh, looks like blood clots. Do you ever get those nosebleeds with like at the end there's like so much like thick blood that comes out like basically like a blood clot I always get nosebleeds but like that's like always happens to me from the color I see under my skin I think I think I like it um, it looks a little bit red to me but I mean my hair is this red so I feel like I'll be okay yeah, that's not bad right It's not bad at all. I actually really like it. So I'm gonna use my clean eyebrow brush and I'm just gonna fill in my brows as if I'm just filling them in and then hopefully they'll tint my bleached brows and I don't really mind if it tints my skin a bit for a few days so just hope for the best. Oh my gosh it's cold. I feel like this brush. It's a bit big. Oh man, I'm nervous. Hi, Zeke. Hi, baby. What are you doing with that measuring tape? It's really long. You're gonna put it all over your arm? Yeah. Say hi. Hi, look. Be careful, okay? Conop don't want it to be like too chunky. But I do want it to be a bit even. Balancing chunkiness and evenness. <laughs> and I'm kind of just scooping the product onto one side of the brush. My eyebrow. Oh my eyes twitching. Oh my gosh, do you see that? It's because when I'm concentrating. I always twitch. Let's just make sure we get an even. Okay, there's no hair here, but I usually fill in the top of my brow right here. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Clean it up a bit. Hmm, not bad. I actually really like it, but there's a bit of product buildup along the top here, so I'm going to try to smooth that out without disturbing the line that I built. Whenever you do two of the same, for example, on your eyes or on your eyebrows or even on your lips, if you want both sides to come out symmetrically, what I always do and what I always tell my students is to do a little bit, step back, take a look at it and see if 
you know the height the placement is accurate and then evaluate where you need a little bit more product and where you do need to keep building it for it to be symmetrical and go in little by little to build the second side the same way because often people they say okay let's do one side they do one side and then they're like, okay now time for the other side and then they do the other side but then it looks good and when you step back it just looks completely different so to keep symmetry what i always say is you know step back and look at both sides while you're doing the second side and as much as you can try to do both sides one step at a time rather than doing the whole thing on one side and then doing the other because then it'll be harder to replicate especially if you're not used to those features that you're working on or if it's a new kind of style or thing that you're trying so i always use my other side as a reference i think this side needs to be a bit higher you know if this comes out weird and i don't like it i could just scrub it off hopefully it'll come out of my skin with a scrub we'll test it on my hand because my hand is pretty tinted Mmm, I feel like it's pretty symmetrical. This side looks a little bit lower, but the eye and the eyebrow sits a bit lower anyway on my right side of my face. So, just add a little more down here. Okay, I'm gonna wait like 15 minutes. I actually really like the color. I feel like it suits my hair so perfectly. It's like such a good fit. Okay, I'm gonna set my timer and we'll be back. The majority of the dye came off of my brush. My brush did get tinted just a bit, like a bit brown-ish red. Can you see that? Just at the tip. Let's try to wash off this tinting. See what happens. Uh, looks like the right amount of brown and red, I think, for what I was going for. It's getting nice and faded. Let's use a tiny bit of soap. Scratchy action. I feel like it looks more red than brown. I'm just gonna use my pad with micellar water and see if we could get any more of the color out just to see how it fades off the skin. Oh, it's like basically gone. Other than the irritation from the actual friction and rubbing. Let's get Michael. Hello. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Your hair looks darker now. My hair looks darker? Yeah. My hair looks darker? Yeah. But it's, I know it's your eyebrows, but... But it makes my hair look darker. Yeah. It makes me look like darker and not floating like an egg. Hmm. So this is permanent or did you draw them in? What does it look like to you? Uh, actually looks kind of brown. Looks like you drew them in. It looks like I drew it in. Yeah. I'm tinting my eyebrows. Oh, you're tinting your brows. I'm tinting my brows red to match my hair. And then you have to wash it after? Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's been just over 15 minutes. I'm gonna take my cotton pad and I'm just gonna put some water because I don't want it to be over like removing since I did want like a bit of a tint I think on my skin will be nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. It's so nice. I have to reapply my foundation there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. I don't even have to fill my brows in that much. Oh my gosh, I actually love it. It's like what I wanted it to be. Maybe I would have liked it a bit thicker at the front, like in terms of diameter, um, because I find that my brows, like I did them a size and then they do kind of taper inward rather than staying parallel um, the top and bottom almost all of my roots have come in and i think only half of my eyebrow is still tinted but i feel like it's tinted enough that i could just go out without filling in my brows because they still match my hair. My hair faded more to like a hot pink and my roots did come in so I have this like little cowlick here. <laughs> With the amount of roots that came in, I think the amount of roots on my brows fit perfectly as well. I'll see you next time. <laughs>
bye